Okay, another interesting way to get organic shapes in Bryce is to use uh, multiple replicate. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a shape like a donut. And I know it's not called a donut, it's a torus. Um, and I'm going to hold my shift down when I rotate this so that I get a nice flat view. All right, and I guess I'll make it a little bit larger. I don't want to make it too large because I'm going to be multiplying this. Okay, so now once I get this shape on there, I'm going to go up to the A and I'm going to make sure that I select Show Origin, origin Channel, <laughs> Origin Handle, and I'm going to click the check mark and it produces this little dot here which I can move out a little ways. Okay, and the next thing I need to do is I need to go up to I need to go up to Edit Multi Replicate. Okay, I'm going to set my quantity to 50. My offset, I don't really want it to be offset at all. Rotate 10 degrees each time or on the X axis. And my size, I'm going to set for 97, 97, 97. Okay, now when I click OK, I get this really interesting kind of horn shape. Um, if I go and I added myself a texture here, such as, um, let's think of something that would look interesting, desert sandstone, and I click render, you see that real quickly I get a nice natural shape, or yeah, shape. <laughs> it's really late. Um, anyway, so that's one method for this. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I've created another torus and I click the A button and again I turn on my show origin handle and I go ahead and I grab it back out here and drag it a little bit beyond the edge and again I'm going to go up to the edit multi replicate option and I'm going to set this for 40 and my offset, I'm actually going to offset this a little bit this time because I want it to kind of extrude out 0, 0, and again 10, 0, 0, 97, 97, 97. And I'm going to click OK. And I have this horn. Now, what you can do with this, again, I'm going to kind of group this together so I don't lose it. Um, and I'm going to add myself a texture. And you can see from different angles here, oops, I grouped everything, that you can have something like a horn that you can put on an animal or it can be an elephant trunk or you know whatever it is and you can do it, try experimenting with different settings and so on. And I'd like to take full credit for this tutorial but um, I got this idea from Peter Sharp and I believe he has petersharp.com something like that um, but he's got some really nice tutorials as well. Um, anyway, experiment with these things and see what you can create. Um, hopefully you have fun with it. Thanks a lot.